From Tuesday, January 20th, 2009, until Friday, January 20th, 2017, Barack Obama spent 2,922 days as the 44th President of the United States. During those 417 weeks, there was one person almost always with him. In high-level meetings, visiting with world leaders abroad, spending time with his family, even when he worked alone in the Oval Office. You know, I knew him before he was president. I was working for the Chicago Tribune and uh, uh, documented his first couple years in the Senate. After the Obama victory in the 2008 election, Pete Souza got a call offering him the position as official presidential photographer. He knew that I had also worked as a White House photographer during the Reagan administration, so I had that history behind um, how to do this job. The job of documenting the Obama presidency began on day one. For his book, Obama, an Intimate Portrait, Pete Souza faced a big challenge. I shot 1.9 million photos in eight years. He was forced to pick only about 300 or so. That would need to include the important official events in the Obama presidency. I was really trying to give people an insight onto what he was like as a person. His serious side and his softer side. I want people to see both sides of, of him. And to capture history, yeah, Sousa so had almost change. unlimited access, even in high tension moments like this, from the White House Situation Room during the Bin Laden raid. It was pretty tense in there. It was pretty tense. And I think part of the reason is you get all the, the most powerful people in the federal government all in the room at the same time. But nothing moved Sousa more than the pictures he took of the president following the Sandy Hook Elementary School massacre. The president, as you can see in the book, was, you know, uh, really distraught. That was as, probably as low as I had seen him emotionally. But, you know, two days later, we went to Newtown, just two days after the shootings. And that's when it really hit me, when he was uh, meeting with all these families. It was the one time where I just couldn't uh, keep, keep my emotions in check. But there were uplifting moments, too. The day that Congress passed the Affordable Care Act. Uh, he was happier that day than the day he was elected president. And another memorable time caught on camera. We had this big snowstorm in 2010. We all called it Snowmageddon. And he came out and played with the girls, the girls in the snow. Of the many world leaders that the president interacted with, who do you think he got the most excited about meeting? Well, I think he was excited to meet Pope Francis. Uh, more than probably anyone. And was there ever anything he felt off limits for his camera? No, I never felt that. There were some family moments that, um, you know, I, I chose to keep those private and I'll let the president and the first lady, when they feel it's the right time to make those pictures public. There's one picture that I really love. It's the picture with the little boy touching the head of the president. I would say over time, this has become one of my favorite pictures. It tells you something about Barack Obama, that you would bend over like that and let some little kid touch your head, even though you're the president of the United States. I think, I think it tells you something about him. And that's most likely the reason that one was chosen as the very last picture, the one on the back cover of the book.